So Colin, what he does for the community is pretty much endless. We made a joke that when he went away for his ed leave a year ago, we had to create a committee to do all the work that he does. And we actually literally put together a committee to do all the work that Colin does for our school and our community. Uh, how much time do you have? It's, it's, it's one of those things where he comes up here and his vigor is just um, second to none. Uh, the amount of coaching he does uh, between soccer, badminton, uh, track and field. Colin has been a great ambassador for athletics uh, for the elementary and senior high students. He is heavily involved in indigenizing education through sport and getting as many students involved as possible. Being an engaged teacher, I want to do the best that I can for my students and uh, providing them opportunities, providing them uh, experiences, not only here in Inuvik within my phys ed classrooms, but uh, within the territory and in some cases out of the territory. One that I think I'm the most proud of is the uh, Northern Games Denny Games Summit that we do at the school. It's one of the crowning achievements, uh, one of the highlights of the cultural calendar. There was concern that the Northern Games would just kind of wither away and, and not happen anymore. But Colin stepped up, he knew the importance of the traditional games for these students and for the elders and more than any other teacher at our school, he really uh, brings in our elders to uh, his classroom, into the Northern Games. Uh, and, and one of the, the initiatives with our school is to get elders and our youth more connected and Colin's been doing it consistently since he started teaching here, bringing elders into his classroom, but now with Northern Games, they're coming in and they're judging, they're mentoring, they're showing, they're watching, they're loving. Um, and Colin uh, bridges that gap for a lot of our elders and our students. I think it brings kids into the school. And for us, you know, attendance has always been such a, uh, a spot of contention, you know. We, we just always try to find ways to get the kids into the school. And by connecting them with sport um, and tradition in sport, Colin is really bringing the kids back to the school, as well as the community into the school, which sometimes it's not that easy of a job to do. Because I teach a lot of these students, I hear how much these Northern Games mean to them, and I, can, I, I, I hear how much they love his phys ed class because he does a lot of uh, bringing in cultural elements into his class so our students can't get enough of it. It's a great way to bring the culture back into the school. It's a non-threatening way a lot of our students thrive in that environment and it's been a great way to especially help teachers that are new to the north um, become accustomed to the culture and find ways to include it into their classroom. He's just uh, one of the most giving people of his time for our school. For me it's, it's what makes teaching thoroughly enjoyable. Uh, I love being in the classroom and there's some fantastic opportunities, but it's that extra. Uh, I see it in the students, I see it in graduates who come back and say, you know that thing that you did five years ago, eight years ago, that was really cool. I really appreciated that, I really liked it. And uh, it's, it's not for me, it's just something that I always love giving back and putting the best effort that I can put in. This is, that's what I expect from my coworkers and from my staff and from my students that I work with.